I'm going to preface this by saying this plugin is absolutely incredible, absolutely amazing to work with. But it did not start out this way today. Boy, did we have issues. Gosh. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fuego. And I still can't believe this is my first time using and working with a Sonable Smart EQ. And this EQ is absolutely amazing to work with. Tons of features. And it's got this feature. I don't know if it's new, but it's got this feature called groups where you can put the plugin on on your buses, your tracks, and it'll unmask your mix view. So I got here bright and early this morning, all excited, got the plugin installed and started to work on the session that I was gonna um, uh, demonstrate and review the plugin on. And, and then I realized I put one of the plugins on the wrong bus so I realized that I didn't think anything of it so I just dragged the plug and then drop it to the new group or bus that I wanted to put it on and the plugin would not recognize the change and I tried everything everything ultimately I decided to uninstall the plugin and reinstall the plugin and then restart my computer again and then it worked thank God right Tons of hours, probably like two, three hours wasted trying to troubleshoot, you know, how that happened. It would not recognize the change. And um, I, wanna, I don't want to go too deep into that. Let me get into the review. So this is the smart EQ. This this EQ, once I got it to work, <laughs> blow me away. I did not know you could do all of that with just an EQ. So, uh, so take a look at the EQ, you know, and... Sonable smart plugin fashion. You know, you got the logo over here with the name of the plugin. And then you got the learn <clears throat> learn button. Let me go back to this window. Uh, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Uh, close this view. Uh, unbypass. So let's look at this view. Um, so up top you have, you have all the usual suspects for a Sonable plugin, you know, um you have your, your different sources for for whatever type of track or bus that you're working with over here you have um you know your different types of um settings you know you can have different settings up to eight and try out different things all right so here i believe you can save your presets i think that's what this for save your presets here you have undo and redo right here and then right up here you have you have um you have a, a few different options how you can set the plugin up um this time you can have up to 60 seconds worth of learning time for the plugin i think the minimum is about six six seconds Mine is set at 20. I feel I feel like I tried 60, I tried 30. I feel like uh, 20 gives me the best the best result um, for um, for what I needed for what I needed it for for this track today. All right, so um, like I said, it's got uh, it's got this group section, and you can turn and turn off the group. The mix this is my this is the, the group the group is called mix you can turn it on and off and these are the uh the buses that are in my group you can have tracks tracks and buses you can mix and match them how, however you want but i you know these are these are all buses so i have my vocal bus my electric guitar bus i'm gonna turn this off for now two tip is getting in my way so yeah i have vocal bus electric guitar acoustic guitar kick drums percussion music and bass and effects so you can have up to 10 i have some empty spots over here uh so i had already run it and i'm just gonna let you listen to some before and after before
yeah so if you bypass one it bypass it bypasses all the all the plugins in the group excuse me all right so here it is with All right, so now this group feature, I don't know how many of the different groups you can have. Uh, that's something I'm probably gonna try later on today, see how many groups I can have. Um, but you know, like the group that you have set up, you can you have access to all these different windows, all these different, all the different EQs right here. If, if I wanna, if I wanna start making, um, let's say, uh, EQ moves to my electric guitars. Um, I can, I can, you know, literally start to make moves. You know, I can start to put a filter on there. You, um... you know, I can, I can move the filter where I want, and you know, I can add another, you know, another band to the EQ. You, um... Right, so that's another thing that kind of like really uh, blew me away. Um, when I first started to work with this plugin, I thought it was just a smart plugin that gives you a smart curve. You know, you can um, you can be an adaptive. You, um... you can smooth it out. I thought it was just something that could, you know. I could do these types of things that the type of things like um, the gold fast EQ, the, you know, the gold fast EQ is just, you know, there's not much you can do. But then again, I messed around and accidentally double click. I did not know I could do that. And double click and find out that I can, I can, I can EQ, you know, on top of. You are more Oh, I think once you start to like one to each. Okay, so this one, this I don't know that yet. Let me let me check and see if I can still if I can still EQ. See, I'm still getting my mind blown because I didn't know that I could, wow, I could, you know, make changes and it would still be doing like his adaptive things or its adaptive things. This is pretty cool. I'm buying this plugin just so you guys know. This is incredible and it's pretty smooth and, you know. You are So this is the curve that I came up with when I when I when I did that. So now if you are not if you don't agree with that curve, you can invert it. You know, you can you know, you can get rid of it. You can un, un, you know, undo it and just just make just do your own thing and double click and and do your own thing. You are
I have been a ProQ3 user for God knows how long. For God knows how long. Like this is, this EQ blows me away. I absolutely love everything about it. And I, I think the, the ProQ3 have, does it have, like, yeah, it does have the function where you can, it can communicate with other ProQ3s. All right. And I just want to briefly talk about the the, um, the dynamic section. So you can dynamically affect, you know, groups of frequencies or, or whatever. So you have, so to get rid of bands, you can just double click and you get rid, just, just so we can focus on this one. So you can dynamically affect, you know, things it'll, it'll bring up it'll bring up your threshold for you your range right here your threshold ratio attack release which i don't have with the pro q3 oh my gosh yeah this is my i you know i'm i'm definitely buying this So this is I'm not completely familiar with it yet, but this is this is I rarely say stuff like that on camera, you know, after a review, but this is my new favorite EQ after two, three hours playing with it. Um Sonal Boy is 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 very is slowly taking over the the plugin, you know. You know, I love their, I love the compressor, I love the DSer, and and the EQ, and you know, I hope you guys try them and, and see how you like it. I would love to hear from you in the comments section, and also if you haven't yet, um, Slate Digital just released a free, I believe it's a saturation plugin, and that is on your screen right now, and I'll catch you in that video. Talk to you soon.